In this problem, we've been asked to expand an expression involving a logarithm, and we want to use the properties of logarithms in order to expand it as much as possible. The expression we are given is log of 10,000 y underneath the square root. Okay, so the first thing you'd want to do, if you see a radical, which is like a square root or a cube root or any kind of root, um, as part of a logarithmic expression, and you're asked to expand it, you want to change that into a rational exponent. We learned earlier in the course that you can rewrite the square root as a power. What it would look like is log of 10,000y to the one-half power. Um, the reason behind that is because whenever you have a square root, the default power, or the root number inside here, it's called the index, whatever number is inside this little hook is called the index. If there's no number showing, the default is that it's a 2 for square root. Otherwise, they'll put something in there like a 3, 4, or 5. And we also learned that by the properties of exponents, um, if you want to rewrite a root as a power, and then you, whatever's in the index right here goes underneath the fraction bar. Okay? And then if there's nothing on the um, power outside, then you put a 1 on top. So actually, all in all, that property says that if you have any root, let's put an n in here, of something, so to be in that spot for base, you can rewrite it as that base to the 1 over n. Okay, So we're using that property to rewrite the expression. Now I did need to use parentheses around the 10,000 y because both of those parts are inside the radical and I don't want to lose any information. So if there's more than one thing inside the radical, make sure that you wrap it up in parentheses before you put the exponent on. Alright, so we haven't actually expanded yet, but now that it's in this form, it's much easier to expand. Because there's a property that says, if you have a log with an argument, we call this part the argument, it's whatever comes after the log, that has a power on it, there's a power rule that says you can move the power to the front of the log. Okay, so for expanding, anytime there's an exponent on the argument, you want to move it to the front, and it becomes actually multiplied by the log expression. So what that'll look like is one-half times the log of 10,000y. Okay, so when they say expand, they're specifically saying if there's any exponents on the argument, move them to the front. That'll be the first thing you'd want to do. And um, also, if there's any radicals, make sure you rewrite it as an exponent so that you can move it to the front. Okay, so we're part way there, but there's a little bit more we can do. The other part about expanding logarithms is that if you have more than one thing in the argument, either being multiplied or divided, they want you to separate it out. Right now we have two components, okay? We have the 10,000 and we have the y. We call them factors because they're being multiplied together. And we want to separate them out. And there's another property that said if you have a log with any base of something times something, let's put a times b in general to stand for the two parts, you can actually separate that out into log of the first thing plus log of the second thing. So we're going to use that property to rewrite this as one half times, put a bracket here, log of the first thing, which is 10,000, plus log of the second thing, which is y. And the reason I'm putting brackets around that is because we don't want to forget that this one half originally was multiplying by all of this. So to keep it multiplying by the new expanded expression, I need brackets to indicate that the stuff is still together and it's all being multiplied by half. All right, we have a little bit more to do. Um, to expand this all out, let's go ahead and distribute the half. So we would get a half times log base 10,000. No, sorry, log of 10,000 plus a half times log of y. 
Now the question is, what is the base? Usually for logarithms we see some little subscript right here to stand for the base, okay? It's um, not sure what it's going to be. It could be a 2 or a 3 or a 5 or an X or a 10, anything. Um, in this case though, when we look at the original problem, it didn't have anything down there as like a little subscript that tells what the base was. Well, the good thing to know is that if you see L-O-G log and no base showing, there's a default base, and the default base is 10. We do base 10 because, well, humans think in base 10, okay? So if you wanted to rewrite this with the base actually written in, let me go to the next page here. It would look like this. Half of log, and instead of just 10,000, it would be base 10 of 10,000, which is subscript, plus log base 10 of y. Now, normally we don't write 10 in because it's considered redundant, it's considered the default, but if you put it in, sometimes it helps you with the calculations. Okay, so once the half is distributed, then you have half log base 10 of 10,000, plus half log base 10 of y. And the reason that I wanted to put the 10 in was specifically for this part here. because This can actually be evaluated. And the way you know if a logarithm can be evaluated is if the argument part, 10,000, is a known power of the base, which is 10. And if you know that 10 to the something power can give you 10,000, then you want to actually evaluate that out. Okay, so what I'm saying here is you want to evaluate this part. And the way you evaluate that is you ask yourself, if the base is 10, what would the power on 10 need to be for my answer to come out to 10,000? So 10 to what power gives you 10,000? And you can think of it, well, 10 to the first power gives you 10, right? 10 squared gives you 100. What well, gives you 10,000? Okay? And it turns out that it's 10 to the fourth that gives you 10,000. You could check on your calculator if you need to. What that means is that this whole thing right here is equal to 4, that power. And so the final rewrite on this would be <coughs> um, half times, instead of log base 10 of 10,000, it's just 4, plus half, and we can't evaluate the second one, log base 10 of y, because it's a y, but we can actually times the last two, uh, the first two parts there, so half of 4 is 2, and then half log base 10 of y, just stays as it is. So fully expanded, but also any parts that can be simplified, that would be the final answer. Hope that helps. Talk to you soon. Made with DoodleCast Pro.